Hello guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! One, two, three, fuck it! So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing another 24 hour beauty challenge. But today's video, we are going to be only using Revolution Beauty for 24 hours. So, so excited for this video because Revolution, it's one of them brands that I feel value for money is 10 out of 10. Like the products are amazing, but the prices are also just as amazing. I've used Revolution products for years. I don't think I've ever, oh I have. I think a few years ago I actually did a video where I did a full face of Revolution makeup. But I think like on the whole, I don't usually do like a full face of the makeup, but I definitely do use products throughout my routine. So I'm very excited. We've got some new products to try, but we've also got some products that I much love and use all of the time that I'm going to be using throughout this video as well so it's a little bit of a mixed bag but I'm very excited if you love these 24 hour beauty challenges please give this one a thumbs up subscribe down below if you are new here and um, yeah leave us any suggestions of any 24 hour beauty challenges you want us to do in the comments below and because I really appreciate the support on these videos this video I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway <laughs> In this giveaway, there's going to be two chances for people to win. So there's going to be two winners. And the winners of this giveaway are going to be gifted £50 worth of stuff from the Revolution website. But there will be two, so meaning £100 in total, but it will be split between two people. Okay, Demi, they get the point. So for the remainder of the chance of winning £50 to spend on Revolution website, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. It can be your favourite emoji. Any single comment will be valid for the giveaway and if you want an extra entry head over to instagram give us a follow there and for an even bonus entry you can share this video it would really mean a lot but all of the rules and when the giveaway expires and everything will be in the description below so check that out but without further ta -ta, let's just get into getting my face pretty okay okay so the first thing that i have to try i've never ever tried this before this is a primer this is the i Heart revolution mint chocolate chip primer i've seen they had loads of primers like this and i honestly really wanted to try one i know that this is probably aimed at kids more than me but really wanted to try it yes oh my god mint chocolate chip is my favorite flavor of ice cream like i can't even tell you if you don't have mint chocolate chip i'm not sure that we can be friends i think i put a bit too much on went a bit hard on the primer Nonetheless, okay, I have put way too much on. Smell like a delightful mint chocolate ice cream. So it says color correcting primer with vitamin C and E. Now I got the green one obviously because it hides redness. It doesn't. It does seem like it has hid the redness. What I like about it though is usually with color correcting primers, I can still see the color on my face. But once I rub this in, I definitely cannot see the color on my face, which is good. So there we go i feel like that looks fab okay the next thing that we are going to do is my foundation this is a foundation that i love and use all of the time it's the revolution conceal and hydrate medium to full coverage if you haven't tried this foundation i would highly recommend that you did because i feel like for the price of it it's so so good i use the shade f7 the foundation base i don't know if you can see but it's actually really really smooth the only thing about the foundation that i don't love is i feel in some lights it has pink undertones and i'm not about that but overall i think it's a really pretty foundation um concealer this is the revolution conceal and define concealer and i have the shade c8 mm, it's a little bit too dark but we'll have to go with it Yeah, I really like the concealer. I feel like it hides flaws that you wanted to and lightens up places. So for powder to set the face in place, I'm going to go in with um, this. This is the Roxy X Revolution Contour and Highlight Palette. I really like this and I use this shade here as a powder shade because I think it's a really nice powder shade. 
I just think Revolution have been like a brand for years that like they stay on top of trends. As soon as there's a trend that on it, they now do skincare, which you'll see a bit of in this video. They work with influencers. Like I just feel like they're always on top of the trends, but they're always creating amazing products as well. Um, obviously, I've had things that I haven't liked in the past. As any brand you're not gonna love everything well I mean you might but um you know so I, but I just I do I love a bit of revolution in my life so now we are going to continue on with this palette and I'm going to bronze up my face now for bronzer I usually find when I haven't got tan on this shade here is the best tan for me but sometimes I do mix a little bit of these tans it sometimes I do mix a little bit of these shades in as well if I do want to deepen it up a bit or a bit of bronze and I usually take it right up my forehead and just like literally outline my face with a bit of bronzer. It's the bronze. I just think it's really nice and it really does like suck your face in and contour you okay next i'm gonna go in with highlight now i really like this highlight on the palette it's like a gorgeous goldy bronze tone but then i also like this white one as well so i usually mix these two together you can see yourself in there there we go, nice and subtle, that's how we like it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is blush. Now, I'm really excited because I managed to pick up the new Roxy X Revolution blush. Now, for full transparency, I did very kindly get sent a gift card off Roxy to get her new collection. Um, but obviously, that doesn't affect my opinions of the product. And I did also get um, £30. I was able to pick up a few new bits, hence why I want to do this video because I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh my god, their marble shades are so pretty. I don't know what shade I want to go for. I feel like this section of the palette is going to be more my colour. But then I don't know because this colour is actually really stunning as well. I think we're just going to take a bit of a few of them. We're just going to mix it up a bit. <gasps> Ooh, pigment. I love ya. We're going to put it on my nose as well because I really like that look recently. Oh my god, look at that blush. I like it. It just looks like nice and peachy, just giving you a little bit of blush tones. I love that for me. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Roxy X Revolution Colour Burst Palette. I really like this palette. I love the colour tones on it. These are the colours. Now, I'm not going to lie, these four here are kind of where I always draw to that little bit more. But yeah, I am just going to create a look with the palette. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a shade Bang Bang and just put it in my crease. It's like a really nice orangey shade, but I feel like it's like orangey caramelly. I really like it. with red velvet I just think it adds a nice dark tone to it and then I'm going to go in with um golden hour I'm also going to add a bit of um bang bang under my eyes as well Yeah. 
who is she okay that's the little finished look i'm gonna go off camera and do my eyebrows and put some lashes on now the eyebrow product i've got is from obsession this is like the sister brand of revolution so this is the obsession makeup london brow pomade in the shade taupe so yeah i will be back once i've done them because it's too stressful to do on the camera okay the eyes and eyebrows are complete this is the finished look i love it um obviously the eyebrow pomade was okay to use but it's not my favorite i just feel like because i use the primark one and i love it any other just doesn't do it for me um but it was okay to use i managed to get some decent enough eyebrows but yeah i stuck some eyelashes and a little bit of eyeliner on just to kind of give the look a full look but i love it look at the eye colors they're so pretty Okay, so now we are on to lips. I went for the Roxy X Revolution lip collection. Uh, so these are the three shades here. Now, personally, this is my favourite shade. This is in the shade London. So this is the one that is called London. I love it. It's such a pretty colour. So this is the one that I'm going to pop on the lip smack gals. oh look at how pretty i just think this color is such a gorgeous everyday color and it's matte as well so it lasts all day usually i would put a gloss over the top just because i do prefer glosses but because this is only revolution i haven't got a revolution gloss so i'm gonna leave it as a matte look today but this is the finished makeup is it just me or does this look like super duper cute i think it looks cute like i really think this looks so so cute it looks so cute okay so I'm going to crack on with my day as usual and then I will check in with you tonight when I take all of the makeup off and we test the removing stuff and I'm very excited to test some of Revolution skincare because I've never tested any of their skincare before so really excited for that. See you in a bit. Bye. Later. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back tell your friends this is the first time i'm ever testing revolution skincare products i've never tested them before so i'm really excited i have three products to try the first thing is obviously a cleanser now can i just say this looks very very high end bottle wise look at this it looks it reminds us of the ordinary brand the way it's all packaged and how like just how it looks so this is the revolution thirsty give yourself a cloud bursting cleanse quenching cleansing cream okay so let we get into this i feel like it's going to be clear oh it's white it definitely feels dead dead soft on my skin feels really nice and cleansing I don't know if you can see but it has actually left some cakiness here so yeah I'm gonna have to go in with a second layer I feel majority of my makeup off but there is still patches of it so I am gonna do a bit of a double cleanse and go in with a second layer because I feel like around my nose it hasn't taken it all off okay, so two layers of the cleanser has taken all of the makeup off now, I've wanted to try one of these for the longest time, so I decided to pick one up. This is the um, Jake Jamie collaboration, and it's the face mask. So I decided to get the donut one. This is the strawberry donut face mask. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try one of these face masks. If you watch um, Jake Jamie's videos on Instagram, he does these like amazing little videos and I just really like them. Like this one actually looks quite cream based and it's got little bits in it. But it smells so good. Okay. Why does this look like the prettiest face mask ever? Look at that. I actually love this, you know. One of the nicest cream masks I've ever done. Because I usually just like sheet masks. But this feels so nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes while I put my washing away. And then I will be back to take it off and test my final product.
It definitely feels like dead moisturising. Okay, so my skin's looking really nice. It's a little bit pink, but I think that's just because of the flannel. Like, it's not hurting or anything. The last thing that I've got is the Revolution Hydration Boost Watermelon Moisture Gel. So, so this is like a moisturiser. It comes in this nice pink package with a little R on the top as well. Oh, I hope it smells like watermelons. Please don't let us down. Oh, it does. Okay, so I've just put it on my face. I'm just going to blend it in. have it that was actually really nice it doesn't feel as moisturizing as my um like moisturizers but it does feel really nice on the skin and my skin is feeling dead smooth so this is it this is the finished skin i'm really impressed with it i actually really like the products and will definitely use them as part of my routine but yeah this was the video where i used revolution beauty for 24 hours i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you've got any other video suggestions like these or any other things at all please let us know in the comments below but without further ratatata i'm gonna let you go and i'll see you very shortly for another video bye